I'm Matt from the service department here at Shaw, and today I'd like to show you a few little tips and tricks to help you get the most from your GLXD system. Today we're going to cover the latest firmware, avoiding feedback, power lock, RF issues and group 4. First thing to do is to make sure you're running the latest version of firmware. Please go to Shaw.com and download the Shaw Update Utility and update your, uh, your system. One of the most common things we need to avoid is feedback. If we try and keep your system or your microphone as far away from the speakers as possible, and when you set your system up, set it to the lowest possible setting and slowly bring the gain up to what is desired, that should help solve that issue for you. Power lock is a very useful feature. It disables the actual power switch, so you're not able to fiddle with it and turn the microphone off whilst you're actually performing. To enable power lock, you hold the link button on the side, turn the power button on, release it, and you're now unable to turn the unit off. If you hold the link button again, turn the power button back on, release the link button, and then turn it off, you'll be able to turn the unit off. Another common problem we encounter is loss of signal, dropout, and loss of audio. We are using the 2.4 gigahertz RF spectrum. It's a very congested part of the RF spectrum. If we can try and scan for a free channel before we use the system, it will help to alleviate this problem. If you're using just a single channel of GLXD and you're running the latest version of firmware, you will have access to Group 4. This will provide you with the most robust frequency range for the unit's operation.